Mark. NBC 10 is digging deeper into the condition of bridges across Rhode Island. The discovery of structural problems with the Washington Bridge prompting a shutdown has raised questions about how safe other bridges are across the state. NBC 10's Gabrielle Caracciolo has been digging into the data. Tonight she joins us in Providence with one of the bridges in poor conditions that's seeing some of the most traffic. Gabrielle? More than 100,000 people driving on I-95 use this bridge to cross over Elmwood Avenue each and every day and taking a look at some of this visible damage. It's not hard to understand why the state rated it as being in poor condition. Underneath the traffic on I-95. It's horrible. There are countless cracks in the concrete holding up this bridge over Elmwood Avenue. It's under the bridge. We don't know what's going on under the bridges. Mm -hmm. We just go over the bridge. I'm no engineer, but that looks pretty bad. Built in 1965, it's now one of the most traveled, structurally deficient bridges in Rhode Island. It was last inspected February 15th, and its condition is rated as poor. This looks very, very dangerous and very bad. I'm not a specialist, but that's very bad. They should shut that down. A little dangerous. You know, but uh, you got to go, you got to go. Rhode Island drivers say they unfortunately aren't surprised. It's a crapshoot. You don't know which bridge you're going to get. You don't know which bridge is uh, out of control or not under control. So, yeah, I'm, I travel with my daughters. They're young, so it's a... Uh, a little nerve-wracking. The bridge is open with no restrictions in place. Rideout says design work on a replacement will take place this year with construction scheduled for 2025. I'm sure the government, uh, they know what they're doing. If it's 100% not safe, they, they, they will shut, shut it down. Over the last eight years, Rideout has fixed or replaced 270 bridges like this under the Roadworks program, bringing the number of structurally deficient bridges down from 26% to 14%. In Providence, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News.